Hey there, YouTube. Back again. Thursday. It's in the afternoon, man. It's awesome. Kids are now in school. So, still getting everything ready for the system while to move in. So, I've had, like, literally very little time. I was able to work out yesterday. Ugh. So, I got my workout done, but, again, I'm really just this week pressed for time. Wednesday's workout, I skipped legs. I'm going to hit those Friday, do hacks, couple sets. So what I did was I did my 5x5 five five incline at 145. I did my um, three sets of 10 on the guillotine press at 135. I, 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 I estimated too much weight on the guillotine press. 135 is where I'm going to stay at. Um, it feels... It, it, it's not that it feels better, but I get a better stretch coming down all the way. That's what I have to do. You know, doing the movement simply to just do the movement and not get the most benefit out of it, I find stupid. Like, why are you doing that move? Ah, well, you know, everybody else does it. And you see the you see the guys in the gym, they're like heaving shit up in the air, and it's like, well, everybody else does it this way. Okay. I did um, three sets of cable flies. I've never done the low cable. So coming up, doing the low cable, three sets, I felt more in my front delts than I did in my chest. So I'm not really big on low cable. I'm going to go back to just doing the cable crossover, if you will, standing, not the bent over, because I kind of like that now. I'm actually starting to like it now. I did, um, did my overhead press. I did pull downs. I wanted to do something. I wanted to do something a little bit different, where I could pick the weight and I could go rather slow in a more controlled fashion for my back. And it's actually a bit more sore than it would normally be. Then what I decided to do, because, again, I'm really pressed for time, I wanted to bang something out relatively quickly. So what I decided to do for the arms was I wanted to go unilateral today, or uh, Wednesday. And I did a cross body where I'm, I'm grabbing the push-down rope for the triceps. I'm just doing the cross body extension. I'm coming across the body with the rope and... The way I can have my arm is I can have my arm further back, and when it's fully extended, I get a much harder contraction in that horseshoe muscle that we all love to do random shit for, basically. <clears throat> and then I did the same thing for the biceps, standing, just, I grabbed it, and then I just curled, I curled to where I could get my pinky to basically hit my ear. Like that. And then just let it go and then curl right back. Ooh, man, that stretch. I mean, right now, just doing that motion, I can feel my biceps sore. And I just did two sets. I like it, but I'm probably not going to keep them in. It was just something extra to do, something I want to do. Probably going to work them in. I'm, I'm already designing my next program. I'm uh, probably going to find a way to work those into my next program, though. So, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the Animega Nation. We do podcasts. I'm one of the people doing the podcast. And we do those once every week. As far as, as, far as I know, we're doing this once every week. And there's me, there's Nate Dog, there's He-Man, there's a bunch of numbers in his YouTube name, I forget what they are, it's like four, let me check. Like, literally, yeah, He-Man 493, that was it. Uh, my wife is going to be there, um, once my sister-in-law gets everything settled in here, she'll be in there too. Um, we got uh, two animators, I believe, one or two animators, I believe, coming in this week for the podcast. Um, I just got to check with that. They're 
friends of my wife. Well, one of them's a friend of my wife. I don't know about the other one, but they're, they're, they're coming in, so we'll see what's going on there. And, you know, peace out.
up, bro?